Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and I really did want to try out a cast on Crit Reap character at some point. Uh, Reap has just actually been kind of interesting to play around with, and I thought shitting out a bunch of sides all over the place with the cast on Crit would be quite fun. Uh, I think the bow versions are going to be the best variant for a Reap, uh, just the way it, you know, shoots and positions and all that. But that said, I uh, just then did a bow character and wanted to... Mix it up with the uh, melee cyclone version, and I wanted to go pretty damn hipster with this character, so it was going to be a chieftain, but I rationalized somehow going scion instead, using inquisitor and chieftain at the moment, but um, it might be something else as the sub ascendancy. Inquisitor plus maybe raider, maybe pathfinder, uh, maybe champion, still looking into it. But uh, the idea is to go pretty damn hipster with this, and I am using a staff to cast on crit with instead of a sword, which I um, was doing in the past since there's built-in cast on crit. This time I'm using built-in inspiration through the elder staff mod. Um, and then I need a full convert it and since we're going to be using Spell Cascade and full converting to fire in this case, we may as well attach a secondary spell as well, and in that spell is Detonate Dead. So we are using Spell Cascade and then running Detonate Dead and Reap, and that is what you're witnessing on the screen at the moment. And uh, it might be a bit unfortunately turning into more of a detonate dead build. I have um, done a couple of cast on crit detonate deads, and it is a very insane build and very insane playstyle. Um, and reap might be more of an afterthought in this one at this point, but it'll still be um, sort of waiting to be seen. Uh, so at the moment, I am just going to inhale a bunch of copium and say that. Reap is still doing plenty of things, and I think it might be, who the fuck knows. We'll find out when the character gets to a slightly higher tiers and all of that. But as you can see, we are assigned, cycloning around and um, using Reaps for plenty of damage, especially to initially get some detonate deads going. Uh, and then I'm also running Corpse Walker Boots, uh, since those constantly um, leave a trail of corpses for our character to detonate dead off of. Um, so that's how we generate corpses, and then as well as that, I do have an unearth totem that I will be using for single target, which is um, purely just a totem that shoots unearth corpses um, at the enemy, and it does have a really insane cast speed. I haven't touched unearth in a while, but that thing just rapid fires. Uh, so it might be a build idea there as well in the future, give some unearth shenanigans a go, but. Uh, that's how we get um, currently corpses for boss fights, and then otherwise Reap should be doing lots of damage. As I mentioned, I am full fire convert, and in that case I am doing Avatar of Fire, uh, a 20% fire conversion from the tree, and also 30% fire conversion from gloves. That gives us 100% fire, and that means that we can then scale pure fire damage. Uh, things like fire penetration and ultimately um, dual scale my skills since detonate dead is pure fire and then reap becomes pure fire we can then um, scale both at the same time and um, hopefully in the end I rock something like 6k life and uh, have a pretty thick character since we do have endurance charges and I might go perma champion just to get fortify up and as you can see here I did test out some petrified blood low life shit um, it was not a fun playstyle watching my health bar just, like, be damn near zero a lot of the time. So, um, yeah, without potentially a lot more energy shield recharge, or, um, a lot of energy shield to begin with, or a lot better regen or some shit, um, and a much higher life pool, not really worth. So in any case, I'll jump into the character and show you what I've built so far. So there's our character, my first son in quite a while, um, Reaping the Dead, currently level 83. Uh, Reaping the Dead, of course, Reap, Detonate Dead, combine the two together, there we go. Um, and we are in kind of a Reaping situation here. Sweet ass. So I was basing it basically around uh, Awakened Spell Cascade, so I wanted to make sure that Reap was sh you know, doing a lot of cascading, and that means that typically you need a second spell that generates some sort of power from that as well, uh, so as to not waste it, and we are then running Detonate Dead as well. So that's why I've got the two spells, and currently the links are Cyclone, uh, Spell Cascade, Anomalous Reap, Detonate Dead, and Cast on Crit, uh, built into a level 1 inspiration, and then I'll attach a sixth link of 
maybe area and then cog effect something like that not quite sure just yet uh could be early focus who the shit knows uh in any case what we're up to is um just talking about the stuff so you can do the conventional um, sword cast on crit thing with the built-in cast on crit, but it was going to be kind of tough to generate enough um, crit, uh, both for the spells and for the um, cast on crit itself at the same time if I did a sword. Whereas if I went a staff, you get 100 global crit to begin with, and then you get a few little staff nodes that help out in that regard. That's why I went the staff route this time around, and you can still get level 1 inspiration, which is 25% more damage as a uh, built-in support. There's really kind of tough to add anything else to it, um, so I instead just decided to get level 1 inspiration and awaken a slam with the shaper mod, 20% more spell damage um, from anything socketed in the weapon. I did one other weapon, nothing really good happened, but we don't really need anything good to happen. Basically those two things and then finishing off suffixes is going to be good enough. However, I decided to do another weapon and hit plus three fire skills as the third prefix, which is pretty damn insane for detonate dead, um, at least for the initial portion because the explosion won't really get any additional out of that. Uh, it's still going to be based off of corpse life. <clears throat> so... It just adds a lot to um, the initial hit of the detonate dead. Doesn't add anything to the reap. Doesn't add anything to the detonate dead afterthought uh, explosion. So while it looks absolutely insane, it's not really that crazy. I'm going to justify it. Um, and then we just want some suffix stuff of maybe crit, attack speed, and some double damage focus ideally. But uh, yeah, we could otherwise um, not have that. Um, plus fire skills thing, and if we had some attack speed or crit on the weapon uh, built in, we could then multi-mod uh, with like plus two support, and then use an empower, some shit like that, could be just as good. Uh, or a bunch of spell damage, because the character doesn't have that much percent damage going on just yet. In any case, that's what we're going for, awakening orb smash to make something like that. Uh, can finish it off in many other ways. I'm still probably going to try and ashling um, some suffixes onto this thing, or reroll suffixes um, with some exalts or harvest. So that's what we're dealing with there. Uh, using corpse walker boots, just as I said, for this thing here, when you walk around, you generate corpses um, behind you, and that helps for detonate dead, just for initial countdown. Otherwise, we do have unearth attached to a totem and um, greater volley and combustion. So it's triggering combustion. Um, for minus fire res and as well as that it's also shitting out a lot of corpses now as I mentioned it's got a lot of cast speed so hopefully we can um, see that that's without really investing in any sort of cast speed in the character but it's pretty nutty um, other than that I'm using some fire conversion gloves so basically just some basic gloves that um, are synthesized with 10% fire conversion bought that base made the gloves uh, ultimately it doesn't matter if we have the synthesis um, to be fair, if we just had a good pair of gloves and crafted a prefix on there, which I might still do because the gloves aren't that amazing otherwise, um, yeah, the 25% just from crafting itself will be enough. We'll be missing out on 5% fizz to fire conversion in the end if we did that. Uh, we got currently a shit belt because I'm trying to craft um, a Hunter Stygian Vice to have flask charge on crit. Um, that is using harvest and crit rerolls. That will guarantee it every single time um, with a crit reroll. And eventually we'll just get some life and resistance stuff. Uh, running a ring just for a bit of dexterity resists. And I put minus channel cost on there. So cyclone only costs one mana. Uh, we then have my usual assassin mark ring. I picked up a helm with minus fire resist and some uh, accuracy. The enchant completely meaningless at the moment. We're not using volatile dead. And then uh, using a synthesized jade amulet. I would have preferred one with dexterity, but this was a pretty good amulet to buy uh, for like 1x or something like that. Can't quite remember. And then we just want some uh, multi accuracy, and I crafted a min frenzy on. Uh, and then I actually chaos spammed this bad boy up, and all it does is um, spell crit, attack crit, and life. So once again, harvest rerolls with more caster, more attack. Um, crit rerolls would get us there eventually um, I would think we also hit plus one socketed support gems which doesn't currently really do anything for me but um, it can be rather nutty see 
we currently have our enlightened setup in there uh, which isn't really necessary i can't fit in all the other auras like a zealot tree still just figuring out my aura setup but at the moment it is anger herald of ash and precision uh, and the anger is there mostly just to give us a bit more penetration 14 pen from the watcher's eye uh, precision i really do need a lot of accuracy so we're definitely using that um, as much as we can anyway and then herald of ash gives aesthetics and a bunch of damage um, but yeah attack crit and spell crit does help quite a bit to fill out both the crit for the cyclone and the uh, spells though neither are really necessary i would think it's just nice to have either one uh, other alternatives are like frenzy on hit for a chest um, additional curse and then you can run flammability um, and then just a really thick chest for life i guess you could do something like that as well in any case that's what we're dealing with so far then got a cinder swallow and a wise oak passive tree itself is as follows we start in the scion and grab this life and we'll probably grab most of that um, as well as the resists uh, we then start in the inquisitor side of things since we are currently an inquisitor um, and a chieftain though i will probably end up going back to champion uh because um fortify pretty much perma sustain 10 percent damage it's pretty good stuff ideally i want to be elementalist but taking advantage of the exposure is a little bit difficult without sacrificing some cluster slots and as well as that we can't shock uh in any way um since we're avatar of fire but otherwise elementalist would have been amazing so if we're pure detonate dead for example we don't need avatar fire we can be elementalist and it would make a pretty powerful build i think in any case we are an inquisitor we went this way this way uh just a damage jewel bunch of spell damage um currently two missing jewel sockets which i'll fill out soon staff crit nodes staff crit nodes staff attack speed area nodes um a fire cluster that does nothing other than some leech for durani's lesson uh we then have crit and um attack speed and all that same ones as the usual for crit stuff and then over here i've got a uh, just resist life thing and a feast of flesh with some resists as well and then we go over here and do some stuff uh that's about it that's about it i'm still figuring things out uh reap for example um to take advantage of its five extra blood charge damage things i will need an unleash uh reap setup so that you manually get the five stacks really quickly before then returning to your cast on crits because it doesn't stack it up through cast on crit uh, so i'll probably have that going otherwise um, there's not too much else to figure out in the links uh, so if i do champion i'll get rid of leap slam fortify since we won't need that and then i'll be able to fit that um, reap setup in uh, yeah that's probably all i got to say for that for now um, detonate dead however cast on crit still an insane character can be done by so many ascendancies uh, so that could always be a fallback plan here but currently trying to make reap uh, a bit more of a thing as well and like i said the bow version probably going to be a bit smoother um, and ideal version would be like an inquisitor with um cold and lightning and additional damages and all that sort of stuff not just a pure fire but this is a little meme version i'm trying to make so i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and see you next time